Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Monday, September the 5th and the US have Labor Day holiday, I believe. Uh, so yeah, um, hope you're enjoying that. And uh, well, yeah, I wanna start with the NASDAQ today and I still wanna persist for a little bit longer in, um, in this particular count that I've got as an A and a B and a C wave for the B wave here. There's a couple of reasons for that. Um, without going into the stock, I'll just do my best to explain it here. First of all, um, this move up here uh, for for a B wave here, I just feel that it's rather small compared to this whole trend over here. It's possible that we could put, uh, as we've talked about last week with the S&P and probably the NASDAQ as well, that we could put this here and we could come, you know, continue to come down uh, and make new lows here. I do think, by the way, that we will be coming down a bit further, um, but then I think that we can go up here. Now, the reason, uh, the second reason for this, I'm just going to put this back over here. The second reason I think about this situation here is that as this is coming down here, it moved quite quickly into these spaces here. And um, and now it's been slowing down a lot, and it's coming into this support area over here. Now it's a bit volatile in here, so but let's just go in and look how this trend has been slowing down. So the first reason is is that this leg here is just a little bit small compared to this leg. It's not out of the question, and I understand that. Um, the second is that this trend here is slowing down. So I'm going to go to a clean chart just to get a sort of a visual on that so first of all we're coming down into all of this all of this block here right so it's i don't think the market's going to sort of you know slice through it like a hot knife through butter um because i can see that it's slowing down here now it moved here and you know this this moved quickly here because it would have taken out a lot of stops in the market and the Fed's created this one here. But now it's really been going much slower to the downside, hasn't it? And we've even got quite a strong bounce here, which I thought um, we may have a low in here because of we're getting five waves here. We haven't breached a low here, but I would assume that we will breach that low there. Um, this is a little bit tricky to count. I can see that it can be counted in different ways. I mean, I can see that um this could also be counted you know if we put this in as the larger top here i'm looking at it as a b wave and then going up for a c wave here um but it could also be counted it could be count you could i can see that it could be counted in in different ways okay so it's not really helpful in fact um a lot of this mo little movement in here is a little bit uh a bit tricky to um to, to place in terms of things i do sort of see that um in the stocks generally speaking we kind of need to look at this as wave one here and two here and then for three, four, and five here. Now that's where I think that we could uh, turn up next at this point, right? Now, I was thinking that, <coughs> let's just assume for a moment that we do get five waves down here. First of all, we would need to break this low here for that. And we'll talk about the strategy with this with stocks, you know, because if this move is coming down here, if this move is coming down here, then we're going to see a rally off, you know, for indices, stocks and so on, you know, off this current low here. So that's going to leave that low exposed. And if it does rally, it will rally, um, just doing a bigger picture here, it will rally in three waves and then come down. So it will leave you with that exposed B wave there. So that would be the safe trade to the downside. So I'm thinking that um, we will get five more waves down. Now, some stocks will be re reluctant to move down. Other stocks um, will have a bigger move down, you know, so they're all going to be a little bit different or they'll be put into groups or whatever. Um, but yeah, so 
I think that this move, move up here is a little bit small compared to the previous trend to the downside. Um, it's it's normal to see where well, it's normal to have a correction here after five waves. We had one, two, three, four, five here. So after five waves, we can get a correction. Um, the correction normally, you know, starts off slow. Uh, and then starts taking out stops and it triggers a lot of stops in the market um, and then short covering for those that have shorted it and then the feds have made their comment but like I mentioned it, it has been slowing down and we have got a bounce so I do feel there's something going on here even though I don't fully I can't fully grasp the count I can see you know, so I can see it in, in different ways. I can see this as being bearish down here and taking us lower. I can see it in corrective patterns. Um, but there's every time I look at it, because of this little short one in here, it puts a bit of a spanner in the works. Even if you counted this as one, two, three, four, and five here, then um, this rally's too small for that. Um, we've got five waves here. It's just a, quite a tricky little count, you know. Um, so I'm sure that... It'd be this this leg here would be a perfect case where you've put two Elliot people in a room and come out with you know at minimum three answers at least you know so um, I I think that I'll just put the count to the side for a moment and I'm just going to go off the fact that we're coming into support and I can see the market slowing down I can see the market needs to come down further in 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 quite a lot of cases. Um, and I think we just allow that to play out and anything below the next five wave structure, the next impulse wave, anything below that, and then we will look at being bearish in the market and calling a, a larger top in here. So just coming back to the daily chart here for a moment. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to allow another little five waves to come down and anything beyond that, then we'll look at being bearish at that point. And then we'll also bring this in over here and we'll call that a day at this point. But in the meantime, I still just want to continue to work this particular uh, trade, uh, not trade, this particular pattern rather. Um, uh, down here a little bit further, uh, probably a bit closer to the eleven thousand five hundred, and we'll see what we'll see what comes off at uh, at that point. So that's my thinking. Um, yeah. So based on that, we're going to be looking at stocks now. So with Apple here, <clears throat> we're also going to look at um, a move down here further into into the fifty sixty percent. Hasn't really pulled back into that space. Uh, our target area just yet for this. I mean, I had 55 and 56 here, and we have got to bounce off that. And it does look like five waves, and the stochastics is pulling back, and you know it's all there. But there are, um, you know, there are there are stocks that I think have taken out this low here or close to it. Um, and it, yeah, anyway, that's what I'm sort of thinking. I mean, we could move up from from this point, but I just. The, the general gist of the stock the stocks that we look at are not telling me that so um, yeah we need to pull down into this space I'll just check on I know we're working on the hundred ticks but um, I'll just have a look on the thousand tick area here so yeah um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky and you can start throwing stuff at me again too for um, for the count that I've got here and I didn't do a very good job on the stocks uh, in the last video so I apologize about that but it's hard to be perfect all the time so yeah there's just different ways to construct all of this here right now I'm not saying that this is correct here by any means right um, but all I'm saying again here is that it does appear we've got five waves down here so what we'll need to do is look at a uh, impulse wave to the downside and as I mentioned if you can you can short the B wave uh, under here for that and this wave four may get more complicated as well but it does appear that we've got five here you know like an A wave a B wave and a C wave up here but that's why the B wave shorting under here would be the safe bet and we'll come down here and we'll see what the market looks like after we've got this five wave structure here into place so this trade here is just down to the 150 at that point 
you could add again once the 155 becomes the retested resistance which is the old low here as well I don't think the 100 ticks going to give us much more than that I don't think it'll just maybe a little bit more detail on the on the count in this area so yeah I'm thinking that we're going to get some sort of a wave B wave and C wave here and then come down at that point because it's quite a nice little five wave structure here you know I could count this as five waves up as well um, but anyway this is also a nice five waves and it's come quite close to the back here the bottom so yeah you can you could also sometimes if the B wave doesn't pull back that far you know sometimes it's useless because it comes back quite deep but sometimes you can just grab that low and the B wave low and then look at shorting it in this area here but as I always say when you've got a angle it's the same as the classic trading levels pattern the market will come down bounce off it then come through it go back and retest it and then drop so the safe trade is under this one here but if you can see that it's everything's going right well then you could probably short it at this high here and this high here if that moves up on lower volume then that's you'll know that it, the price the volume is confirming the price action as being corrective and you've got to be careful with the stops because sometimes you get a second hit on that so don't put the stop above this one you have to go to the next stop next high so but anyway that's um that's that way around that so yeah based on that five waves here that would be a reasonable sort of move here and you can also look to um, add under these lows here for this once that becomes the retested resistance and once again you need the classic trading levels pattern for that as well so it's got to come through the level go back and test it then work from the low point to the second low point until you get clicked in and that way the market's proving to you that it's weak at that point which is important the market's got to um, you know come to you and it's got to prove itself this is nvidia here so i'm just changing this count we've taken out this low here so we just need to count five waves in this move here so um as one and two and three and four and five here for this and then an abc back up so looking so this has probably got more distance to go than a lot of other markets you know what i mean so um yeah we'll probably probably be pulled down in it'll be a bumpy ride into the 100 because we've got um uh 10 20 and 30 in here for all of that um but let's just go in there a little bit further i was just thinking of nancy poloski's um husband that bought five million dollars worth just up here he must be down about three mil that's a bit of karma for you i mean i like nancy i think she's doing a great job um, obviously people have opinions and all the rest of it and disagree and agree but um, everybody's doing the best they can um, I guess um, where are we here 10k so um, yeah so from this way four here looking at this is one and two and three and four and five so we'll come pretty close to down here you know um, further down for for this market and then <clears throat> and then have that rally and then down again at that point so it's not that I see the markets as bullish or anything I just see that we're in a much larger correction and you know I've always maintained that I haven't um, you know I haven't really strayed from that the question you know it's just been a different way of looking at things or the uh, 100 ticks so 100 ticks so this is where we are here for this i mean this move up here i mean i can kind of see it as being bullish as well so and it's not the best more like a, it's more like a c wave here so i can really look at this here as um let's just put this into play i'll just take it between those two so it's really sitting on that 50 60 percent retracement level which is going to make it a little bit easier for this because let's just assume for a moment this is five waves here um you know it could be that we've got an a and a b and a c wave over here as well for this you know because that's what it looks like to me it looks like we've got five waves up to here then an a wave a b wave and a c wave here and we go up from that point it doesn't look like it looks like a lazy c wave to me you know it looks like it can go up here 
But even if it just go, it might go up here, it might just go up here and then fold over. I mean, all you're looking for is that if it can move up, then it's going to leave that low here exposed. Okay, that's the trick. So it needs to move up first. So I'm just going to move that over here. So it's got to move up there first. There might be just a little, there might be some little spike to come down here for this. Do you know what I mean? Like there might be some on the open, there might be some spike here. So just be careful about that. You know, you want to see it move up to 138 or something, you know, at least up there somewhere. <clears throat> Back up to the wave four, one lesser degree, if not higher. Or well, you can work out the 50, 60% in all of that. But yeah, just be a little bit careful because it, on the intraday, it feels like it can just move higher, um, you know, based on this being an A wave, a B wave, and a very lazy C wave here. It sort of reminds me to be stronger. So do allow it to go up to 138 at least, and then you can look to um, short it at that point, you know, under that low. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure if we've got this wave three or this wave three or this wave four or this wave four for, for this just yet. I just need to go back over some of this. But that would be the downside to that. And that, <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Um, Amazon, <clears throat> now I was looking for a low to be in here um, as an ABC. The situation here though is that this, once again, in most of the markets, all this little space in here is really quite messy and it makes it a little bit difficult. But um, based on what I can see about the markets coming down, I would say that we're gonna be coming down to the 120 before we get this bounce. And uh, yeah, that would be that would be that. So um, I was doing some work on some other charts here. Just I just want to have a quick look around anyway. Not that one. Two thousand. No. What's this one? Oh, this is a bullish count that we've had, which is not there. Um, let's move past. It was worth looking at, but one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, back for the fourth wave. So that's a bit of an old count, and it's past the 38.2% retracement level. So we don't need that. So I must just go to 100 ticks. Um, okay, so I've had the B wave here. We need to look at it being over here. Um, once again, this does look kind of nice and impulsive to the upside here, but um, we've also got now we've got a nice five waves here as well. So I'll just talk about that in a mo all that mess over there in a moment. But what we need to look for here is an ABC pattern and then uh, down again for wave three at that point. So this has rallied off here a little bit. So that makes it quite nice. So we could short under this under here now, or you could go to the B wave if you if you can get that happening right. So you would still need that move up and then back again, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, how to count this? Then we've had this here as the A wave up here with an A and a B and a C wave down to this point. Didn't count very well, this is a tricky spot. And um, yeah, so now I was thinking about this in a couple of different ways. Um, but one of the odd ways I thought about this was looking at this here as one, two, three, four, and five down here for the A wave here. And then the A, B, and C wave for a B wave here, and then down for five waves here. So I've got that structure. And then the other structure, of course, is that I would have to bring this over here as a wave four. Um, but none of them none of them seem to fit very well you know so what I, all i can do is just say to to myself and you guys is that we'll if this is going to be five waves down here we'll just track it down to this point and from this point that means the market will need to go up from that point but it will after five waves it needs to go up anyway and if it only goes up 50 60 percent of this last trend, for example, well, then we can look to short it over here under the B wave and we'll go down and we'll have to look at a larger impulse wave at that point. But I do want to allow these these next this next set of uh, 
five way structures to to, uh, to to complete before I call that in. And also to the 120 is our target area over here. So yeah, and as I mentioned, you know, this is quite a strong move up. So it's kind of telling me that the market is slowing down. You know, there is something going on here. There are buyers around these lower levels here. Let's just see the market sink in again. Let's see if those buyers come back in at that 120 area, and then we'll see what sort of pattern that we get to move to the upside. So that's that. And where are we here with Facebook? So, okay. So the same thing with Facebook. This is just 100 ticks. So we're looking for an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave up here, and then down for three, four, and five to come down, okay? So that's what we're looking for there. And once again, if you're you can either short the B wave, you could sometimes if the, depending on how far the B wave comes back, but otherwise you could draw, you know, draw a line through here and all the rest of it. But do wait for it to come back down on us, right? Because this here, I could also look at this being bullish here as well, and we can go further up. It's not in line with the rest of the market um, as such. Um, we, uh, I think I even adjusted some again here, tweak this again. So let me just check here for this. Yeah, so I have tweaked this again. I'll put this bit like our two day count. So I, I wanna see a low below here for this. So I can look at it like this and then we can go to here. It's just, it's not finished yet. This this whole move for, for Meta to the downside is not not finished yet, I, that, that much I know. Uh, well, I feel, you know, I'm quite comfortable with that. Um, the two day chart here, where we had wave four sitting here or here, um, either way is fine. Um, but still this needs to come down as well. I mean, the main point here to understand is that all of this move here, is corrective right from that cut from that low everything above here is is got overlapping wave structures so it's corrective so that means we need to make a new low so I think we, we will make a new low uh, I don't think we'll go very far like I said we just need to as I mentioned with the Nasdaq and that we're just looking for five waves down uh, so let's just see how that goes um, Netflix as well um, I might this is also a little bit complicated but this will need to look at this coming down here as as well um, but don't short it until you get the rally here okay because it I could quite easily make a mistake and this could go up here we've got a nice floor here it just means that well, I would need to put this over here somewhere or do something like this here and and bring this down into this space here or something of that nature um, and this can go over to here for that as well so uh, you, uh, you know you can rearrange this however you want but um, if that rallies right um, then it'll leave that low exposed there and then you can look to short it over here for that um, You could label this differently. I mean, basically from that low there, we could look at it. Uh, it could probably, I mean, you have to go into WXYs at that point. So I just really want to keep it simple for today. I've got enough, I've got enough complexity and issues that I'm still scratching my head about. <coughs> now Tesla, I mean, we did have a nice impulse wave off the low here. Um, but same thing occurs as well is that, um, this is going to be a little bit different here. This has got five waves here, three here, five here. So that's one, two, three, three, four, five. So that's part of that. So this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be something like that. And it could come down again as well. So that means that I need to rearrange this up here. And um, that means that I need to put wave four here, wave five over here, put this put this over here, down here further. This is our target area, so we haven't didn't quite reach that yet. I'll have to move these out of the way here for a moment. 
put this here, look at this as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 here for 1 over here and 2 over here and look at all of that as the third wave there. Which is quite nice actually, it's the third wave. So yeah, um, we can expect this to move down. I mean it looks like it wants to push up based on this here. Um, so once again, make sure that um, you know, you see that weakness in the um, later part of the first session. I mean, when the US normally come back from holiday, they're normally quite chirpy and they're in a bit of a buying mode, um, but we'll see how far that goes. Um, with Alphabet here, you can, oh, this is interesting because Alphabet has taken out this low here. So that means that I will just simply look at this a little bit differently here so i'll just put wave four over here and look at this as an a wave a b wave and a c wave for wave four and then put wave five down here and if we can just borrow these we'll look at one and two over here for this and three four five coming down here so that this one actually helps us confirm it you know in a way so that's good and this is another one, Microsoft. See how it's made that low here? Um, it could be that the rest of the market's bullish and this has made a new low and I need to put wave five here of C of B here and that's the end of it, you know? That's possible. Um, but for the meantime, we'll just look at this as one here and we'll go back for two. And the same thing applies here. You'll be looking for uh, wave B to short, but yeah. Um, you know the 250 here is going to play out as really good support and it's going to like the market's going to be held to that number you know it's going to get a bit volatile around around this number so if you're coming down here in this just exit at the 250 otherwise you'll just be left um, stuck to the screen on this there's different ways to look at all of this down here I was just experimenting a little bit as one and two and three here then an a b c d and e over here for wave four or even a wave a and then an a and a b and a c over here for that so I'm just looking at it in different ways I could certainly look at it as a bearish count um, but what I would like to do is just I won't turn bearish until we're under this level here <coughs> until we've got these last five wave structures anything below that and then we'll have to go with the trend at that point I just think there's a reasonable reason that the market could turn and I don't want to get trapped in that you know that's all and Berkshire Hathaway here so we'll just look at the same thing again as well the uh, wave two three four and five to the downside uh, you can short the B wave you could probably short it at 280 um, but I would wait I'd make sure you get a good setup so like this one here has got this little move up here and come back again you want to be shorting something under there do you know what I mean that's what you kind of want over here for that and it'll just be an A and a B and a C and then and then come down at that point so uh, just let the market come to you on these things don't chase it because you, if you chase it um, you might catch it and uh, you'll end up on the wrong side of it. You could end up on the wrong side of it. Um, uh, block here, there's a couple of ways. I mean, I, I, I just need to bring it down a bit further. There's a couple of ways I could do that. I could bring this wave four over to here. I could also look at this here as, as wave one here, then an A wave here, a B wave in this move here, and a C wave here to put blue wave two over here, which would push everything along a little bit further. Um, you know, I, I have struggled with this count or parts of it. Um, yeah, but we don't have this low in. I know that this whole move here, this whole move to the upside is corrective, and we will see this market below 50 at some point. Um, it's just, um, do we get that other bounce off here first, you know, and then down? That's that's basically the, the bottom line for it. So it's also been a bit of a, a bit of a tricky one. So yeah, I'll just need to move it in line with the rest of the markets. And with Bank of America here and um, JP and uh, and Goldman's, uh, I've rearranged, because they've had that sharp move up here, I've just rearranged them in this way in terms of one, two, three, four, five here for the A wave, an A and a B and a C for the B wave, and then looking down for one and two here. 
and 345 into our target area here of around the 32 mark here. Now, I, once again, I don't know if this count is correct, but all I need to do is look at five waves coming down here. And once they're finished, I want to see the market push up from that point, you know. Uh, now, we don't have a fantastic impulse wave in this section to the downside here, you know. So having this kind of thing in here makes it quite suitable for a B wave here. Um, but once again, we just let these five waves complete. And uh, anything below that, well, then we can look at being bearish and we'll start counting things in a bearish way. And we'll start looking for uh, longer term trade short positions. Uh, the same with JP here as well. This is probably not the case here, but it does make a nice A wave up here. And then I was looking at this here being an A and a B and a C for the... So basically an A and a B and a C wave here, and then an A and then an ABC for the B wave, and then a C wave up here for the B wave. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. It seems to fit sort of okay. I'm sure you can count it in a different way, but the same thing applies as well. It does appear that we've got some sort of impulse wave down. So let's just allow this leg here to finish off and anything below that, then we'll start building a short trade because we could look at this in a different way. We could look at it in, in more of a bearish uh, pattern, but I, I just can't go there just yet, but we're getting there. And the same for Goldman's as well. It's probably not the right count, but it doesn't really I'm not really bothered about it for the time being we'll look at this as one and two here and three four five and once again anything below this five wave impulse structure then we'll turn bearish at that point um, and it's not in the bigger picture we won't be missing much really um, because if it's going to be bearish you know we've got a long way to go down really so um, yeah just don't want to get caught uh, in this a b and c wave up here for this so we'll just uh we'll just wait um and the market can get quite bouncy coming back into um coming when it comes down we always use group group one to build our trades on you know to to the upside like we probably did here um, but coming down into group one one two and three it can get a bit bouncy um as it as expected as shown here so that's got also going to happen if it pulls into uh 310 here that will do the same as well at this point at that stage it'll be a bit it'll be quite bouncy around here so when you when you're in, when you're trading to the downside in numbers like these here in group one then you just trade that you know you just take the ten dollar Thing. You never get the $10, you end up with about 6 or 7 do you know, uh, the time you get your set up and the rest of it happening. Alrighty, I'll leave it all at that. Um, yeah, sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't got a nice beautiful count for you, and apologies, I didn't really get it right in the last video, um, but that happens now and again, and uh, let's just see if we get these five waves, and then we'll see what happens after the five waves if we start to move up, uh, and then if not, well, then we'll look for the short trades at that point and will be longer term short at that stage as well. Alrighty, cheers.